All right, hello everyone. Thanks for joining us here, and welcome to game number one of this two-game series this week. McNeil Mavericks taking on Round Rock Dragons. Dragons hosting McNeil out here on this first game, Tuesday night. Just getting ready to get underway here. Round Rock Dragons four and three in district so far, six and sixteen overall this season, including preseason tournament play. It is a hot, sunny, and windy day out here in Round Rock, Texas. Temperatures in the 90s. Got a wind that's uh, actually blowing in and perhaps a little bit over the left field side, so that will make some fly balls interesting. Mavs will have their work cut out for them tonight. Starting pitcher for Round Rock, number 17, Travis Sikora. I think he's officially listed about six foot four. Uh, regularly sits in the 90s and uh, touches triple digits with his fastball. So the Mavs hitters will need to be on their toes tonight and uh, ready to get that front, front foot down early. Try to make contact here. All right, all you fans in the left field, can you hear me? Give me a hand. Right field, that is. There you go. All right, Sakura just about ready to go. And leading off for the Mavericks here to start the game will be left fielder Ramsey Simpson. He'll be followed by the second baseman Jack Goins and shortstop Ryan Vosick. Got a little bit of an earlier start here. Next couple of games for the Mavs, uh, all starting at 7 o'clock Central Time. Most of the games in district play leading up to this were starting at 7.30, but uh, like I said, the next couple of games will be starting at half hour earlier at 7 o'clock. All right, and we are ready to see the first pitch here. Left hand hitting Ramsey Simpson. Good bat, a lot of speed. And here comes the first pitch. Fastball misses low, ball one, start the game. Next pitch swung on, got a little foul piece of it. One ball, one strike. Next pitch, fastball in there, called strike two. It's been a steady diet of fastballs to Simpson so far this at bat. We'll see if we see a bit of an off speed here, one and two. And just as Cora was getting to, starting his wind up, umpire calls time. He's ready to go. Here comes the 1-2 pitch. Fastball swung on, fouled back out of play. One-two pitch swung on and missed. Strike three. Gets away from the catcher and back to the screen. And Simpson's going to be in safe on the drop third strike. So, leadoff hitter finds a way with a drop third strike there. That'll bring up second baseman Jack Goins. Interesting field dimensions here at Round Rock Diamond. Looks like we got 357 down the line at left, 360 or 380 in center, and 314 down the line in right field. So, kind of left hand hitter friendly field as uh, the hitter Goins squares around to bunt and bunts it up in the air and foul out of play back into the parking lot.
Next pitch swung on, fouled back into the screen. This will be an 0-2 count to Goins. And Scorl throws it over to first. Check the runner, Simpson. He's back in time. Not much of a lead. 0-2 pitch to Goins. Swung on. Ground ball, and then it's going to go foul softly over towards the first base side. Actually, it looks like out left center field appears to be the deepest part of the ballpark. Left center is marked at 390. And the right field line is 314. So, again, interesting shape. 0-2 pitch. Swung on a miss, strike three. And ball was in the dirt, but since first base is occupied, Goins will be out. So second strike out of the game, but uh, only the first out. And that will bring up the number three hitter, Ryan Vosick. First pitch to Vosick. Fastball misses a little high and inside. Pitch, big cut, swung on and missed. One ball, one strike to count to Vasek. Third baseman for Round Rock playing pretty close to the uh, grass at third there in case of a bunt. And Sikora throws back over to first. Simpson dives back in time. Next pitch, swung on and missed, strike two. One and two to count now to Vasek. And next pitch is swung on, gets a piece of it, grounds it sharply foul out into right field. And comes another one two pitch to Vasek. Swung on, chopped it, and then it kind of bounced off of his forearm, so it'll be another foul ball. So Mavs uh, making contact here, still figuring out their timing, but at least making some contact against the flamethrower here, uh, Sakura. 1-2 pitch, swung on, another foul ball, goes out of play. Good battle, oh, that one might find a car in the parking lot. <laughs> and the press box here plays the car alarm sound. Another 1-2 pitch coming up to Vasek. Pass ball misses outside, gets away from the catcher, so Simpson will advance easily to second base on the pass ball. Good at bat so far here for Vasek. 2 2 count, look coming up on pitch number eight. And 2-2 pitch. Fastball misses a little bit low. So Vasek works his way all the way up to a full count now. We've got one out and uh, Ramsey Simpson, the runner on second. 3-2 pitch. Swung on and missed, strike three. Good at bat for Vasek though, still hung in there for 10 pitches. It'll be two outs now and brings up the cleanup hitter, first baseman Jackson Collins. First pitch to Collins is in there for a call strike. Next pitch, breaking ball, misses, low and outside. Got away from the catcher there, but kept in the general 
area around the plate there, so not enough for Simpson to advance. One one pitch to Collins, swung on, gets a piece of it, fouls it back to the screen. One and two, the count to Collins. Next pitch swung on, fouled back into the net again. Another one two pitch coming up. Swung on and missed strike three. So Mavs get a runner down to second base here in the top of the first, but unable to bring him around. We head to the bottom of the first. Round Rock coming up for their first at bat, so we'll be right back. All right, starting defense here for the Mavs. First base, Jackson Collins. Jack Goins, your second baseman. Ryan Vosick at short. Wyatt Newman at third. Ramsey Simpson out in left field. Center fielder, the senior Chris Windesman. In right field, Brandon Morio. Behind the plate tonight, making his return after an injury, uh, senior catcher Garrett Banks. And on the mound tonight, starting pitcher, the left-handed junior, James Morio. And he will face the top of the round rock order here, leading off left fielder number six, Devin Petrie. He'll be followed by the right fielder, Trey Garza, and, the, and then the center fielder, Tyler Betts. First pitch to Petrie is in there for call strike one. Glad to be alongside with you. Better late than never, right? Hey, you know. uh, yes. Dealing with some wind, challenge with wind fighting the camera <laughs> here. Trying to keep the camera angle looking good for everybody That's listening right. here. And next pitch is fouled. Out of play. Third baseman White Newman made a valiant effort over there, but ran out of room as the ball bounced off of uh, the road outside of the uh, Round Rock dugout there. So Morio working ahead here on the leadoff hitter, 0-2 count. And Petrie calls time after a shaking off of several signals by there by the pitcher Morio. O2 fastball misses a little outside. Outfield pretty much mostly covered in shade at this point. The sun's starting to go down. And the 1-2 pitch to Petrie. 
Fastball misses a little low. Count will go to two and two. Yeah, I was just checking the camera again. Looks pretty darn good. I'm trying <laughs> to keep it, <laughs> you know, as, as best I can with the wind blowing the camera a little bit too. 2-2 two -two pitch swung on. Looks like it foul, fouled it off of his inside of his ankle. Gonna walk that off. Probably be all right to finish that bat. <laughs> two balls, two strikes, and leadoff hitter Devin Petrie. Next pitch swung on him. Right strike pitch. three. And. Petrie runs down to third, thinking it was a drop third strike, but umpire said, not the case. Instant bat, your right fielder, number five, Trey Goza. So leadoff hitter Petrie is retired on a strikeout. That'll bring up right fielder, number five, Trey Garza. First pitch to Garza, fastball, got a foul tip caught by the catcher Banks there, strike one. Next pitch, good change up, swung on and missed, strike two. So Morio challenging early here, filling up the zone with strikes, attacking the hitters. Comes the 0-2 pitch. Another well, changeup swung on a miss, strike three. A third strike pitch was another changeup, wasn't it? Changeup, changeup, yeah. yep. Love it. Next back, your center fielder, number so two 15. quick outs to start the bottom of the set, bottom of the first. And that brings up center fielder Tyler Betts. Betts a recipient of a thousand dollar scholarship to uh, in the pregame ceremonies here. So congratulations to him. Also a summer team teammate of James and Brandon Morio on the McNeil team here, and he greets his former teammate with a nice changeup. He swings on and misses for strike one. Next pitch. Looks like he got away from him a little bit there, bounces in the dirt, or the turf dirt that's down there. I see it looks like we've got a turf hitting area and catching area and then a little bit around it and then the rest is just natural grass and dirt. 1-1 one, one pitch. Fastball swung on line right up the Look middle out. into center field. For base hit. So two out single for Betts, and that will bring up the Round Rock pitcher and cleanup hitter, number 17, Travis Sakura. Sakura, University of Texas commit. And he swings at the first pitch, launches a fly ball into center field. Center fielder Windesman takes a couple of steps back underneath that he makes the grab, and that will end the inning. Thanks to the wind not blowing out. <laughs> yeah, that wind blowing in definitely blowing hung that thing up there. The wind blowing in does not hurt. So similar situation. Round Rock gets one aboard, but unable to bring him around from first. Two strikeouts for Morio. Still no score. We head to the top of the second. Mavs coming up to bat in a bit. We'll be right back.
All right, five, six, seven hitters due up here for the Mavs in the bottom of the or top of the second. Leading off will be the center fielder Chris Windesman. As I was, as I was just stating to you, Jason, it's nice to be able to talk again. Uh, being out of commission for a few weeks there with bronchitis, yeah. <laughs> starting to worry we have to put you in the iron lung there or something, man. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the iron lung wouldn't have been a bad <laughs> idea, but it's good to be back. <laughs> good to have you back. <laughs> good to be able to talk. <laughs> All right, let's go, Wendy. Wendy's been looks at a first pitch fastball for call strike one. Next pitch flashed a slider there for yeah. a breaking ball. 0-2 now. That surprised me a little bit with that slider. 0-2 yeah. oh, pitch, swung on a miss, strike three. Bring up the catcher Garrett Banks. As I mentioned, Banks back in his first game after missing a few due to a uh, hit by pitch he sustained a couple of games ago that hit him right in the cheek. It required, uh, I believe, a total of 11 stitches between the inside of his mouth and the outside. Yep. But as I said, folks, catchers are built differently. Looks like called strike one. Remember, he got hit by a pitch, kind of took a few seconds on the ground, then did two push ups. And then walked down to first base with blood pouring out of his mouth that day. So that was, uh, like I said, catchers are just different, folks. Glad to have Garrett Banks back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how healthy he is, but <laughs> just glad to have two back. Number two back. Broken finger, too. That's right. He's also playing with a broken <laughs> finger. <laughs> so we'll try to check his swing on that last fastball there. Couldn't hold. Says he did go around. Yeah. So be one ball, two strikes. Catchers are a different breed, no doubt. And another one, two pitch, swung on a miss, strike three. Next to bat, number 29, Caleb Frail. So two quick outs here as the Mavs are working their way through the first time seeing the hard throwing Sakura here. Just a matter of dialing in the timing here. And that brings up uh, designated hitter Caleb Crail. He looks at a first pitch in there for a called strike one. And so Cor calls time and summons his catcher to talk a little strategy here. Mercifully, the temperature's starting to drop as the sun's going down. Oh, next pitch swung on, foul, chopped up, and looks like it hit the umpire right at the lower part of his mask there. Catcher heads out to talk to the pitcher to give the umpire a little time to gather himself after that foul chop to the chin area. 89 degrees currently. 89 degrees. All right, at least we're below the 90 mark. Or almost 730. You know, and 10 mile an hour wind. So the wind is definitely blowing in. Seems seems to be a little higher than that, but we'll go with 10 mile an hour steady wind from the south. All right, looks like umpire is uh, okay. Yep. After that foul ball. And we will come back in for an 0-2 count to the hitter, Caleb Crail. Next pitch swung on, ground ball fielded by the third baseman playing in shallow. And he throws over to first, and Crail is retired for the third out of the inning. So, Mavs go in order, no runs, no hits. We head to the bottom of the second, still 0-0 score. We'll be right back.
All right, five, six, seven, due up here for Round Rock in the bottom of the second. Leading off will be the shortstop, Landon Schroeder. First pitch to Schroeder, soft ground ball, second base. Fielded by the second baseman, Goins, bobbled it in time, but throw is in time. So a weak swing on a uh, change up there and a soft ground ball, probably a lot of spin on it. Took quite a while to get out to the second baseman, Goings, who was playing deep. Bobbled it a little bit there, but threw it over in time. And that's the first out of the inning. That brings up the designated hitter, Ian Bamberg. First pitch to Bamberg, breaking ball, stays up high. Ball one. One oh fastball, tried to check a swing. Umpire said he went around. So one one the count to Bamberg. One pitch looks like another change up there. Pulled a the string on it. Swung on a miss, strike two. One two fastball misses outside and low. Come and get him, James. Two two pitch. Beginning appeal. Umpire appeal yes. around. Says he went around. Got tried it. to hold up. Strike three. Strike three. Two outs. Your catcher, number two, three. So two quick outs here in the bottom of the second. Third strikeout of the night for Morio, and that brings up catcher Drew Freed. Freed looks at a first pitch fastball up a little high and in. Ball one. One oh pitch. We're working that change up again. Messing with their timing. Swung on a miss. Strike one. They keep a hand here on this overhead canopy. Right, that we got another gust here. That you've uh, set up. I've got so the weights in front us. and the yeah, duct tape, but I don't know if it's enough. I'm go sailing <laughs> away here. One one pitch swung on, popped up, fouled out of play. Shoot, us holding on to it. We may go with it, sail away. Uh, end up in Yellow Brick Road territory here <laughs> or something. One ball, two strikes. The count. It's a freed. Dim interesting dimensions out here at Round Rock. Yeah. Uh, 314 down the line on right field and 355 right center. Let's see what we got here. Oh. One two pitch. Oh, not Mavs defense thought he went around, but the so fast. field umpire said he did not. Close. Definitely right. close. Yeah, that 355 in right center. Then once you get center field 380 on over. <laughs> yeah. Crazy dimensions. Anyway. So 2-2 two -two pitch coming up here. Edge pitch swung on, line drive into left field, and that's going to get down for a base hit. So two out single for Freed. Next at bat, your first baseman, number 21, Kyle Cox. Now bring up the first baseman, Kyle Cox. Looks like we're going to have a courtesy runner for the catcher, Freed. Uh, number one, Kate Algeyer goes in. And will be the runner at first here with two outs. Courtesy runner number one, Paige Algeyer. Kyle Cox, the hitter. Hawks, a Cox, a uh, will continue his baseball and academic career at St. Edwards University after the season. Nice. <clears throat> and he looks at the first pitch breaking ball that misses high and out. Ball one. Next 
First pitch fastball catches the outside corner for a called strike. Next pitch breaking ball just caught it off the top of the bat, fouls it back to the screen. So one and two, the count to Cox, two outs. Al Geyer, the courtesy runner on first. Keep working those corners, James. There runner goes. goes, and the pitch misses outside, nope. and there will not be a throwdown. So a stolen base for Al Geyer. Two and two, the count now to the hitter, Cox. Next pitch, fastball misses high and out, so it'll be a full count now. That was a full count. And I think they may have decided to intentionally walk him. I think that's a safe assumption, because it was a three and two count. Not quite sure what happened there. It might have been an intentional walk. They might have just told him ball four, just take down there. We're going to go with that. I saw either be that or catcher's interference, although I didn't see any catcher's interference. In any case, that brings up the number nine hitter, uh, David Bradley. With runners on first and second now. And first pitch to Bradley is a breaking ball in there for a called strike. Pitch, fastball, misses a little outside. Count goes to one and one. One one pitch. Another fastball misses high and in. One pitch swung on, line drive goes foul out into the parking lot. That one's going to find a car eventually, rolls underneath an SUV out there. The greatest fear of coming out here to watch these ball games is parking in the parking lot directly behind. Do not park <laughs> close <laughs> directly behind to the field. field. Yeah. 2 2 pitch coming up here. Runners go. go. Pitch is outside and it's a double steal. So now we have a full count. Runners on second and third. Two outs. And we'll see if Morio can work his way out of this jam here in the bottom of the second. Yeah. Come get him. Next pitch swung on. Ground ball to shortstop. Fielded by Vasek. Throw over to first is on go. time. Here and Nice stretch. Jackson Collins. He gets out of the jam. So, Round Rock leaves two stranded. No runs come across. Still no score. Still 0-0 here. We head to the top of the third inning, and it looks like we're going to have a pitching change for the Dragons. 13 is Andrew Harden. Okay, yep. The commit to Southwestern, didn't yeah, he? Going to Southwestern yeah. University after this. Yep. All right, so new pitcher Andrew Harden okay. comes in. We'll let him get his warm ups, and he will face the eight, nine hitters, and then back to the top of the order for the Mavericks coming up here in the top of the third. We'll be right back.
All right, leading off this inning and coming in to face the new pitcher, Andrew Harden, for Round Rock. Number eight hitter and right fielder, Brandon Morio. Another interesting case here. Morio and Harden played on the same summer team last summer as well. And first pitch, Morio swung on and missed, strike one. Next pitch, breaking ball. <laughs> Throws it over the back of uh, the hitter Morio there. So ball one. How'd y'all fare in the uh, the summer team that your boys played good, together? Good little team. Good yeah. little team. Yep. Well, next pitch, swung on, fouled back into the net. I think it's safe to say that y'all won a few tournaments, huh? Yeah, we uh, traveled all over the place there. Did a little perfect game, WBWBA in Georgia. Played some really solid teams. And next pitch, good breaking ball, swung on a miss, strike three. Next at bat, number 16, Wyatt Newman. So one away here in the top of the third, brings up the third baseman, Wyatt Newman. First pitch to Newman, fastball misses outside and low, ball one. Next pitch swung on, popped up, fouled out of play though into the parking Watch lot. It. <laughs> Oof. Well, that one narrowly missed a, uh, it's like a red truck there in the parking lot. So one ball and one strike to count to Newman. Pitch fouled off. Looks like, ooh. Got the catcher. Yep. Fouled the trajectory of that ball off of Newman's bat. Looks like it got into the soft meat there of the uh, inner thigh of the catcher. That's going to leave a mark. That'll leave a mark. I can't tell the catcher to rub some dirt on it. Artificial turf. Yeah, there's no dirt to rub. Plate. Have to go out to the mound <laughs> or <laughs> good race paths. <laughs> Always a comedian. What do we got? One, two? One, One ball, two strikes to All count. Right. Next pitch breaking ball. And on that swing, uh, Newman manages to hit the ball twice. Twice on the bat, from the bat, yep. Once on the front <laughs> swing and second on the back swing as the ball bounced and kicked behind him. Don't see that every day. No, you don't. Whoa, there go the sunglasses. Thank you. Nice catch. Good hands there. See that? Yeah. Cat-like <laughs> reflexes. <laughs> Next pitch to Newman misses a little high and in, so it's two and two the count now. One out, nobody on. Obviously, y'all can't see what we've got. We've got <laughs> our our scorecards batted down uh, as best we can with cell phones. Uh, and next pitch, oh, comebacker goes off the mound. Off the mound. The second baseman going to have a chance to make the play, though, and he does. Wow, it was a hard ground ball. Off like, of Harden's foot. Well, it was either off the foot or off the yeah, rubber itself. No, it was off the foot. I saw it. That's, where it, that's why it caromed out to, um, well, the second baseman there. But. Regardless, two outs. Yep, Harden, pitcher Harden just pointed. It did go off of his foot. Yeah. But he looks like he's okay. Good play by the second baseman there. He was kind of heading over towards center field side and had to mm -hmm. quickly change change course, come back over, and made the play. We'll score that one just a 4-3 with an assist by the pitcher's foot. Two Sorry. outs. Nobody on. Yeah. We're back to the top of the Mavericks order here. Leadoff hitter Ramsey Simpson, who was... Uh, the only base runner so far for the Mavericks got on him when they dropped third strike back in the first. And he looks at a uh, very nice good breaking ball in there for called strike one. And another one. Looks at another breaking ball, pretty much same shape path there. A quick 0-2 count to Simpson. And 
next pitch fastball misses high and out. Comes the one two pitch, Simpson. Fastball swung on, fouled it. We stay alive. Another one two pitch on the break ball. This one doesn't quite get in there though, so it's two and two now to count to Simpson. Two-two fastball, kind of spiked it, narrowly misses the uh, toes of the hitter Simpson there. So Simpson works all the way back to a full count here with two outs. I forgot to mention, starting pitcher Travis Sakura has now gone in and playing shortstop. And Harden tries to directly behind us tries to fool Simpson with another breaking ball, but he is on it, fouls it back over the press box, not a play. So yes, uh, Sakura now the shortstop of record for the Dragons. And we have timeout before the next 3-2 pitch is delivered. Three two fastball, misses high and out, ball four. So a two out walk for Simpson. And he reaches first base in both of his at bats tonight. And that will bring up Jack Goins. Adjust the camera a little bit. There we go. First pitch to Goings. Fastball misses a little bit outside for ball one. I can probably hear it in the microphone. The wind is still going pretty strong. Still blowing in as well. Next 1 0 pitch, fastball misses low and out. So Gones with the hitter's count 2 0. Green light, take a hack if you like it. Fastball is what we're expecting, we'll see. No. Nope. Goes to the breaking ball, misses outside. Breaking ball on a 2 0 pitch. Okay. So Goins waiting to see a first strike here, standing in with 3-0. And next pitch, oh, oh a late <laughs> called strike. Goins was about a third of the way down to first base, thinking that was ball four, and then the umpire decides to pull the trigger. I don't blame you, Jack. I thought it was ball four too, buddy. But um says no, three and one now. So three and one the count to Goins. And Harden's gonna throw her to first. Simpson's back easily. Ramsey's not getting much of a lead off first base. So. Yeah, not much. Harden just trying to keep him honest. In case they're thinking about a little hit and run here or something yeah. with two outs. Yeah. And Goins once again thinking it was ball four, but it is a called strike on the <coughs> lower outside part of the plate. So Goins goes from a 3-0 count now to a full count. Runner goes, pitch misses outside, ball, ball four. four. There's the ball four we were waiting for. There, we finally got it. So it is back-to-back -back walks here with two outs in the top of the third. And Ryan Vosick stands in at the plate. And first pitch to Vosick is a breaking ball that misses far off the plate. And 
that's going to trigger a visit from the assistant coach for Round Rock out to the mound. Mavs do have some good speed on the bases with Simpson at second and Goins at first. If Vasa could get a ball to reach some grass out in the outfield, that would likely get us a run with Simpson speed. Mavs still looking for their first hit. Still only two hits total in this game so far. It's been a pitcher's duel. Still plenty of game to go, but pitcher's duel so far. And the next pitch, fastball misses low. Comes a 2-0 pitch to Vasek. That one is in there for called strike one. Two one fastball. This one, umpire said, caught the outside part of the plate there, so count goes to two and two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Runners on first and second. Harden motions to second there, but does not throw. Two-two pitch, breaking ball bounces in the dirt over in the left-handed batter's box, and now we will have a full count with two outs. Send the runners here, right? Might see a double steal. Throw over by Harden just to check him. Yep. That wouldn't surprise me at oh, all. They do go. Simpson goes, and. We have a get out fly, ball. foul territory, and it That's is going to get out of play. Get out of play. There it is. <clears throat> New life. It's a good idea, though, if you can place one opposite field out and right. Yeah. Give Simpson plenty of time to get home. So, Fossick back. Full count. Two outs. Runners first and second. And Simpson goes. Pitch is swung on and fouled. Oh, fouled off the catcher again. It looks Ouch. like he took that someplace no. that he doesn't have some padding. Yeah. Give catch a minute. Rough night behind the plate so far Heck for both yeah. the uh, opposing catcher and the umpire who took that shot to chin, too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Glad it wasn't me. The shot to the chin there, that was wicked. Oh, no. When you get them stars and Tweety Birds floating around <laughs> your head, they're like you've seen cartoons. <laughs> no doubt. All right, so battle Vasek RV continues the battle here. Sorry, another three-two pitch coming up. Come on, Ryan. Oh, Next man. pitch, breaking ball, like swung on a miss, ball. strike three. That is his nemesis pitch. Yeah, that's okay, buddy. He's still good about. So Mavs leave two stranded. Still no score as we head to the bottom of the third inning. And we will be back to the top of the Dragon's Order coming to the bottom of the third. We'll be right back. All right, leading off 
for the Dragons here in the bottom of the third. Back to the top of the order, left fielder Devin Petrie. Coming up for his second at bat of the night, struck out in his first appearance. And first pitch to Petrie, fastball misses high for ball one. Lights coming on here at uh, Dragon Stadium. What do they call this? Dragon Diamond. Got some pink skies lighting up the center field area there. 1 0 fastball in there for a called strike. I'm not sure, Jason. No. I'm not sure, Jason, if it's uh, called Dragon Diamond, but I like that. We're going to well, go with I'm it. I'm looking out at the top of the scoreboard there. It looks like oh, it's yeah. Dragon there, Diamond. Yeah. It sure does. Well played. 1-1 one, one pitch, fly ball into right field. Brandon Morio is over, and a couple of steps to his right, he makes the grab for the first out of the inning. Right. Next at bat, number five, Trey Garza! Looks like Morio tried to float the old uh, left-handed changeup into a left-handed batter there, and uh, it's a bit of a risky pitch. But fortunately, Petrie just kind of got it up in the air, and again, that wind's just blowing in. And uh, his brother, Brandon Morey, was able to easily make a grab in right field for the first out. Brings up the number two hitter, Garza. Garza lofts a soft fly ball into shallow center Watch field. The has been got yeah. a late break, go. but he comes in a couple of steps. And Garza is retired with the fly out. So two quick outs here in the bottom of the third. Brings up number three hitter, Betts. Betts with one of the two hits total tonight so far. Had a single back in the first with two outs. And he comes up again with two outs. Oh, first pitch to Betts. Slider misses a little bit outside. Umpires called that outside pitch as a strike, but I guess he didn't like that one. Yeah. But it is what it is. 1-0 pitch. Looks like it was a changeup. Swung on, fouled out of play. Oh, oh, I think that one got a that one got a jeep or a truck over there. <laughs> it did. Maybe even the bus. I think I might have got that bus <laughs> on the bounce. <laughs> it did get a vehicle. I just I can't see. At well, least one not. vehicle. At yeah. least one. <laughs> one ball, one strike to count to bets. Next pitch, fastball swung on and fouled back to the screen. When you said at least one, I'm like, what do we say? It sounds like pinball. <laughs> it was a little pinball going on there. Baseball going off, a few yeah. vehicles. Uh, one and two of the count to Betts. Betts actually going to go continue on his uh, academic and baseball career at UMHB, University of Mary Harden Baylor, after he graduates this, well, in a couple months. One, two pitch, misses high. Ball two. Two-two pitch. Swung on a miss. Strike three. As the catcher Garrett Banks does a little dance <laughs> <laughs> with that strike three from Morio. Pep back in a step there. Great job, James. Yep. Fourth strikeout of the game so far for Morio, and the Dragons go one-two-three in the bottom of the third. Again, still no score as we head to the top of the fourth. Four, five, six ers due up for the Mavs when we come back. Garrett Banks is back.
Jackson Collins set to lead off the top of the fourth inning here for the Mavericks. It'll be Collins, Windesman, and Banks. Collins struck out in his only appearance tonight so far. He looks like a first pitch fastball that ooh, kind of tailed inside, but umpire called a strike. Next pitch swung on, popped up. Looks like it's going to get out of play into the parking lot. And, oh, it bounces. And, oh, oh we have a winner. <laughs> Y'all may have heard the smack. <laughs> Although I think they hit the license plate. I think they got the license plate of a gray car out there. So 0-2 <laughs> count. And slider that bounced in front of the plate. So it'll be 1-2. I don't think it hit the license plate. It hit just to the left. <laughs> Yeah. Of the, but yeah, it, it hit the car. The sound of contact the, was very yeah. apparent, that's for sure. That's up. For ball oh. one. 0 2 pitch misses a little bit high there. Pretty close to take on two strikes, but uh, actually it's two balls, two strikes. I was saying, the scoreboard was off there. It's two balls, two strikes. Collins. Next pitch. Ooh, ch fouls off that uh, spoils that breaking ball there. Good job by Collins to see that and just get that front foot down and just hold that bat back until the last second. Well, I was going with the scorekeeper. All right, you know, here um, I thought it was one ball, but it is two. So I was off as well. It's 2 2. And there next pitch. Called it. On outside the outside corner, corner. for called strike three. Majority of the time he's calling that. Uh, get him next time, Jackson Collins. I didn't finish what I was saying. Majority of the time the umpire's calling that outside. Uh, looks to be a little outside off the plate, but he's calling it as a strike. Yep, he's giving the outside black and then probably a baseball or two up outside of Oh, nice. Windesman jumps yeah. on the first pitch, lines it right back at the pitcher and wow. into center field. And he is aboard with the Mavs first hit tonight. That's two comebackers, actually, mm -hmm. to the pitcher. Harden, first one last inning, went off of his foot, and that one narrowly missed him. So with one out, Windesman, your runner on first. That brings up the catcher, Garrett Banks. Banks struck out in his first appearance. And Harden throws over to first to check Windesman. He's back safely on the diving slide back. First pitch slider misses outside. Mavs dugout coming to life here. Yeah, got a little nice life after that. See. After breaking the seal there with that uh, first hit, Windesman. Right. One zero pitch to Banks catches that outside corner again. One ball, one strike. And the throw over to first to check the runner, Windesman. He's back in time. Comes 1-1 pitch to Banks. After a long look by Harden. Comes inside with the fastball. Oops, says he got a foul tip of it there, but swung on and missed. Strike two. Next pitch, oh, a slider was going away, lunged out and got a piece of it to stay alive and fouled it back into the net. So Banks stays in there with a 1-2 count. I like that, protecting the plate. Just don't know if that umpire is going to call that yeah, as a exactly strike. Right. He's, you know, Garrett's got two strikes on him. Good at bat. Keep it going, G. Another thrower to first. Boy, has been back safely. Round Rock pitchers not allowing the Mavs to get anything remotely resembling a decent lead over there at first today. Trying to keep them honest. And the 
one two pitch. Fastball. Ooh, that was one of those dangerous outside corner ones there. Was a little low. The umpire called it ball two. So two balls, two strikes, the count to Banks. For this umpire, didn't miss by much at all. Oof. Another throw over. Wouldn't have been back safe. Doesn't have much of a I mean, he could literally just fall over <laughs> and touch the bag. But nonetheless, like I said, Harden trying to keep those, letting everybody know he's looking at you. I don't even need to lap because that's factual. Just fall down. 2-2 two, two pitch. Out. Ooh, oh, breaking ball. And oh, just foul down the third base line. What a cut. Might have been one foot foul down the left field line, if that even. Just kind of hooked. Couldn't quite hug the line enough oh. there. That would have been down. That was probably a double. You never know. Uh, Wendy could have scored there, but possibly just depending on how far. Just, yeah. But I feel they're not really playing the line. So it's just a nice foul, a hard hit foul ball. 2-2 Two -two pitch. They uh -oh. thought it was strike three. Umpire said no, it missed. It's low. Looked like it was low from here. It's definitely yep. over the center of the plate, but it was, it was low. It was low. So full count now to Banks. Three two. Oh, and he looks at called strike three on that outside corner. Very good at bat though. I know he struck out, but that was a quality at bat though by Garrett Banks. Two down now. Okay. So two outs now brings up the designated hitter, Caleb Crail. Crail looks at a first pitch breaking ball that looked like more of a strike than the previous strike, but that one's called the ball. Crail grounded out to third back in the second inning. Next pitch swung on. Run it out. Fly ball. Never flowing over towards right field side. Right field, there's a no. couple of steps over to his right, and he makes the grab. So that ends the inning. Mavs leave one stranded. Get their first hit of the night on a single by Chris Windesman, but unable to bring him around. We head to the bottom of the fourth inning. Still 0 0 score out here at Dragon Diamond. We'll be right back. All right, leading off for the Dragons here in the bottom of the fourth. Formerly the starting pitcher, now the shortstop, Travis Sakura. Sakura flied out to center field in his first at bat.
First pitch is Sakura swung on, lofted foul into the parking lot That's again. We're going to get a car. Oh, I lost it. I couldn't see it. And I didn't hear a loud bang. Yeah, so. I didn't hear. Didn't hear this is a characteristic sound of ball hitting exterior of a car, or smashing of a windshield. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the worst. Get on. Oh, one breaking ball misses outside. So it's one ball, one strike to Sakura. Next pitch swung on a miss, strike two. One-two pitch, just got a piece of it, fouled it back to the net. Good pitches up and in to big six foot five Sakura. Yeah, he's challenging him in. He sure is. Lying in there in the kitchen. Comes a one two pitch. Change up, lofted high into the air into right field. Morio over a couple of steps to his left and he makes the grab. Helps his brother out, gets a fly out for the first out of the bottom of the fourth. I, I got you, bro. I'll take care of this one. He would definitely never hear the end of it if he didn't manage to bring that in at home that night, that's for sure. <laughs> no, <laughs> no doubt. So one away brings up the number five hitter, shortstop Landon Schroeder. Schroeder grounded out to second base in his first appearance. He squares around to punt, lays it down third base side, fielded by the third baseman Newman, throws off of his back that's foot. Great. And what a nice play by Good third baseman Newman. Newman. It was a well-executed bunt, but Newman was charging, fielded it, and then threw it off of his kind of back foot there and made a great throw to first base. Dun -dun 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 -dun. So two quick outs. And that brings up the designated hitter, Ian Bamberg, who struck out in his first at bat. A little highlight reel for Newman there. Indeed. Woof. First pitch to Bamberg, misses a little high, ball one. Next pitch swung on, I missed. Blew the heater by him there, count goes to one and one. Two outs, nobody on here in the bottom of the fourth. No score. Two hits for the Dragons, one hit for McNeil. That's about it. Next pitch in there for call strike two. Got a kid. Got him with the changeup, swing in strike three. Working that changeup in. So once again, Dragons go down in order. One, two, three, no runs, no hits. Concerning that changeup, she's a Butte Clark. All right, top. we go to the top of the fifth. Five strikeouts for Morio so far this game. We head to the top of the fifth inning. Again, still no score. Mavs coming up to bat. We'll be right back. Go Mavs.
Right fielder Brandon Morial leads it off for the Mavs here in the top of five. Morial struck out in his only appearance so far tonight. And he looks at a first pitch fastball on that outside corner again, called strike one. Definitely a pitcher's duel here tonight, folks. Only three total hits between the two teams. As Morio looks at called strike two, fastball on pretty much the same part of the plate. And I bet you we're going to see that slider right here. Nope. Fastball tries to go back to the same spot, misses. So it'll be one ball, two strikes. There's that slider. Yeah, Moria managed up. to get a piece and fouls it once again off our catcher, off the uh, Dragons catcher. <laughs> He's having a bit of a night. <laughs> Gonna have a couple of uh, bruises and wells to remember this game. Is this about the third one? No. Nope. Something like that for him. One two pitch swung on, lofted in the air in a shallow right field. Right fielder's over a couple steps to his left and he makes the grab right around the foul line. So Brandon Morio flies out. That brings up the number nine here, Wyatt Newman. Newman grounded out to second base in his only appearance tonight. Newman with that nice play on the bunt last inning. Threw the runner out. Fantastic play on defense. Um, and Newman looks at a called strike on that outside corner again. Back to the top of the order after Newman. See that slider manages to catch a piece of it and just foul it back softly to screen. Oh and two the count to Newman. Next pitch swung on, lofted in the air. Right fielder goes back a couple steps, then comes in and makes the grab. So two fly outs to right field. Makes it two outs. And we're back to the top of the Mavericks order here with uh, leadoff hitter Ramsey Simpson. Simpson has reached in his two attempts on a first on a drop third strikeout and then a walk in the third. And he looks at a first pitch. Slider that does not quite do what it needs to do. Stays outside, ball one. Tries to check his swing on there. I think the umpire called it over the plate. Strike one. Yeah, I think he might have held up. But I, and uh, I think also the umpire's like, that's a strike. Got the catcher again. Swung on, fouled off the catcher this, back of the screen. This catcher's a ball magnet. I'll tell you what. Check our camera here. Camera looks good. One ball, two strikes to count. Next pitch slider bounces. Had some good action on it, but just hung a little, stayed a little low. Two and two to count to Simpson. I see a little action in the uh, Mavs bullpen. There's been a bunch of action over there. I think it's just. Oh, I just decided up. to look over for the first time. Okay, thanks, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at it because there's, there's <laughs> been the about. Time, that's literally the first time I've looked over to the right. There's oh, been about five this. different Mavs players in the belt <laughs> okay. bullpen there. So. Okay. Moving on. <laughs> Count now full to Simpson. And fouls off the 3-2 pitch. And that one goes uh, Oh, that one goes all the way football field into the football field. Track it. Mm -hmm. Over on the left field side. Nope. Simpson calls time there. Umpire grants it right as Harden was about halfway through his windup. Here comes the 3-2 pitch. Well, the breaking ball misses. Ball four gets away from the catcher. There you go. Simpson will just remain at first base there. And Simpson has reached all three times without putting a ball in play. And he's on with a two-out walk. Brings up Jack Goins. Leadoff batter Simpson doing exactly what he's supposed to do. 
What does he do? Three he times on base. The plate. And he gets on base all three times. Oh, good come. Going swings to the first pitch, launches a ball into the parking lot. And that one manages to avoid all the cars, but goes a way to the other end of the parking lot. So it'll be an 0 1 count. Goins walked in his last at bat. He's going to call it. Yep. Next pitch on that outside corner called strike two. Runner goes, pitches the ball, throw down is He's there. not in time. Oh, what? They <laughs> called him out? I don't know. Did he, did he come off the base in the umpire? Because he looked like Simpson looked like he was in plenty of time. But in any case, the at-bat has ended with a out on the base paths. Well, what's interesting is he arrived. At, he, he, you know, slid head first plenty of time. He did slide past the bag. I never saw the tag on him, but we're moving on. Either way. Mavs leave another one stranded. No runs across, no hits that inning. We are going to the bottom of the fifth. Still knotted up at 0-0 here. We'll be right back. Seven, eight, nine hitters due up for Round Rock here in the bottom of the fifth, leading off the catcher, Drew Freed. Freed with uh, one of the two hits for the Dragons here tonight so far. Back in the uh, second inning. Well, he swings the first pitch, ground ball, shortstop, fielded by Vosick deep at third, at short, and throw's going to be offline and not in time, so it'll be an infield single for Freed. Way to knock that ball down, Jackson Collins, first baseman for the Mavs. Next bat, number 21. Kyle Cox. Yeah, we're going to have another courtesy runner. Looks like number one, Kate Algeyer, is going to come in again and will be the courtesy runner for Freed at first. And Kyle Cox comes in to hit. Cox was uh, intentionally walked back in the second inning. Cox squares around a bunt, but Morio throws over to first to check the runner Algar. He's back in time. Third baseman for the Mavs, Newman playing well up on the grass. Cox Good squares around feet. a bunt. Again. Just moving forward. And foul ball. He calls a foul ball by the umpire. Head coach for Round Rock doesn't li like the call of the foul ball there. Trying to argue that it was just the catcher missing it off the top of the glove. As Freed slowly walks back towards first base. Actually, that's the Al that's Algar the curse. Oh, okay. I missed that one. Thank you, sir. 
for the All correct. Right, so let's for see the correction. What's going to happen here? So yep. I think he's asking for the field umpire's opinion on <laughs> what happened at home plate. Interesting. Meanwhile, trying to get a couple of scores from around the district here for you folks. Uh, Stony Point leading Hutto by a score of 4-1 to one in the bottom of the sixth. Trying to get a score on Westwood versus Vista Ridge. Looks like a okay, Vista Ridge, uh, Vista Ridge, Westwood, 0-0 in the bottom of three. Ruled foul ball. Okay, so it is a highly dramatic foul ball. <laughs> and I believe it'll be, it should be a 1-1 count. It is an 0-1 count to Cox. Oh, right, because the first, that wasn't a first pitch, it was a throw over. All right, no balls, one strike to the hitter, Cox. Does not square around a butt this time, takes a hack at it and fouls it into the parking lot. It's out. And that one nails a car. Smart. And nailed a chicken, too. <laughs> Old pinball. So, Baseball. Cox in the hole, 0-2. And Morio throws over to first. Throw almost gets away from the first baseman, Collins, but he manages to grab it. Other score, we have uh, Vandegrift up by a score of 1-0 to zero over Cedar Ridge in the top of the sixth inning. 0-2 pitch. Swung on. Soft ground ball to shortstop. Not going to have a play at second, but he throws over and... I don't Safe. think he really had a play anywhere. That ball wasn't hit very hard. Yeah. Hey, more than likely give him an infield hit on that one. Yeah. What do you think, Jason? Yeah, I think so. I think it's two infield hits back to back. Now runners on first and second. David Bradley. And that'll bring up the number nine hitter, David Bradley, who grounded out to short in his first appearance, first and only appearance tonight. Mavs need it out here. Dragons with runners on first and second. And he squares around a bunt, offers at it, pulls back. Umpire's not going to call that a strike? No, I don't think so. Oh, that certainly looked like he offered at it, but uh, umpire says no, he didn't. So it'll be one ball and no strikes to Bradley. Now he squares around again, pulls back this time, pitch misses outside high. <laughs> 2 0 pitch. Misses a little low and outside. Bradley squared around the bunt all three pitches so far they had bat. Squares around again early, 3-0 pitch. And this is high, ball four. First walk issued by Morio tonight. It's to bat number six. Devon and now with bases loaded, nobody out. We're back to the top of the order. Devin Petrie comes up 0 for 2 tonight with a strikeout and a fly out to right field. And first pitch to Petrie is in there for a called strike. Very impressive by James Morio. At, uh, we're in the bottom of the fifth, and that's his very first walk of the game. Not a great time for it, but uh, yeah, on the stat sheet, pretty good keeping the walk count down. Mavs defense up on the grass, trying to cut off the run at home, trying to keep this an 0-0 game as the next pitch misses a little yeah. low and outside for ball one.
Next pitch swung on, a little soft, oh. soft uh, kind of squib hit there that went foul down the third base line. So it'll be a 1 2 count to the hitter Petrie. Next pitch swung on hard ground ball right up the middle for a base hit. So that's going to score one run. Cox comes around from second, score two. And on the throw in, Petrie's going to end up on second base. So the Dragons finally put a couple of runs aboard here in the bottom of the fifth inning. <laughs> and now lead by a score of 2-0. And that will bring up, so now with runners on second and third, still nobody out, brings up number two hitter Trey Garza. Garza with a strikeout and a flyout this game so far in his two appearances. First pitch to guards, a swung on, fly ball, looks like it's going to be foul and out of play down the left field side. A oh, one pitch, blew it by him, strike two. Bar said he got a foul tip on that. By the way, count his own two to the hitter Garza. I'd come inside again. Uh, Same pitch? Yeah, Same I pitch. would. Change up outside. Mavs defense still right up on the grass like trying to cut the runs pitch. off. Same pitch as last. Nope. Up in the Fouls hands. This one's going to get a car. Oh, it bounces right in between. And oh, just kind of. I can't even look anymore. <laughs> I just. <laughs> I can't even turn around. I think that one missed all the cars somehow, but that was right in the heart of it there. All right, no balls, two strikes, still the count. Next pitch, there's that change that misses a little outside and low. All the Mavs infielders. Still playing in, looking for that ground ball, get the out at home plate, hopefully. Next pitch. Will it, no it will Foul not. Foul ball is going to get out of play. Goes out a couple of feet behind the uh, round rock dugout. Poor turkey. Hitting a turkey in foul play. Mm. One and two. Here we go. Next pitch swung on, popped up. Shallow. Sky high. Sky high. And oh, wow. <laughs> there was a lot of confusion between the third baseman, Newman, Vosick, the shortstop, and then Simpson, who came all the way in from left field. And right at the last second, Vostick sticks his glove out and makes the grab. Next at bat, number 15, Tyler. Oh, I can breathe. So that pop out is the first out of the inning. Runner still on second and third. And that brings up number three hitter Tyler Betts. Betts one for two tonight with a single in the first and then struck out in the third. Breathe a, breathe a sigh of relief because Vostick did not see it till the last second. Like you said, just stuck that glove out. Yeah. And then <laughs> was able to somehow make the catch. One out. That squares around a bunt, pulls back, and umpire says that's a ball. And 
we're going to have timeout, and head coach, Coach Aguirre, is going to come out, and we're going to have a mound visit. Wouldn't be surprised if this is the end of the night for Morio. Where's he at um, on the pitch count? Looks like maybe that was pitch number 72. Okay. Thank you. Some intense strategy being uh, discussed out on the mound here. Home plate umpire is going to go out and uh, see if he can get the Cliff Notes version of it there. Try to break it up, maybe. <laughs> okay, so just a long talk. Mario's going to stay in the game. Okay, so we are reset here. 1 0 count to the hitter bets. Ready to play ball again. Got runners on second and third, one out. And next pitch is in there. Called strike in the outside corner. Don't see any action in the Mavericks bullpen. And next pitch change up, swung on and missed. Strike three. Actually, sorry, that was strike two. Now with the mound visit like that from co head coach Silver Gary with the Mavs, you know, you'd think you'd have some action. Yeah, you'd think this late in the Not game, pitch nothing. count getting up there. Yep. Nothing happening in the Mavs bullpen. Here comes the one-two pitch to Betts. Swung on, fouled back into the net. One ball, two strikes to count. Next pitch swung on, ground ball. Knocked oh. down by the third baseman, Newman. He's going to try to throw it to first. Oh, he's still got him. Throw is in time. Yes. Bobble from Newman. Yes, a run scored. But he made the play at first base for the 17. out, the second out. So, yes, on the, on the ground out, runner does score from third, makes the score 3-0. Petrie, the runner on second, moves up to third. And with two outs now, runner on third brings up the pitcher, or sorry, the shortstop now, uh, Travis Sakura. Sakura lines a deep drive oh. into center field, but Windsman is over there. He makes the grab, and that's going to end the Read inning. Read it perfectly in center field by, by uh, Chris Windesman. Third out. So the 0 0 tie is broken as Round Rock puts up three runs here in the bottom of the fifth. We head to the top of the sixth. Mavs looking to get the bats activated. Two, three, four, do up in the order when we come right back.
All right. Jack Goins leads it off after his at bat last inning was uh, ended by an out of the base paths. He comes in with a fresh count. Swings at the first pitch, lofts a fly ball oh. into right oh. field, but again, that wind just holding it up and plenty of time for the right fielder to make the grab. Solid contact, uh, as you stated, that wind. Um, held that ball up. Fairly easy play for the right fielder for the Dragons. One out. And, uh, make this change. Top six. So one away brings up the shortstop, Ryan Vosick. Vosick takes a huge cut at the first pitch. Swing and miss. Ooh. Strike one. We just need you on base, buddy. Here we go. No big hack. Next pitch swung on, fouled back into the screen. Next pitch, sharp Heads line up. drive right into the Mavericks bullpen over there where a couple of guys were warming up and and I don't I don't know if that's what this meant but he caught that line drive no that's not <laughs> that was Brandon, I couldn't tell it is that was Brandon is that Morio Brandon Morio yeah and Vosick takes another hack fouls another pitch off Pitch slider that bounces in the dirt and then off the catcher's mask. So it'll be a one ball, two strike count to Vasek. Another one-two pitch. Another breaking ball misses low in the dirt. Two-two fastball. Ooh, that was that outside corner that the umpire's been calling, but uh, Fossa got lucky there. Umpire called that a ball. Yeah. Now staring down a three-two pitch. And that pitch uh -huh. misses low and inside. So a one-out right, walk for Vasek. Bring up first baseman Jackson Collins. Collins is looking for his first at first uh, hit tonight. Two strikeouts so far. Got a 3 0 score here in the top of the sixth inning. Round Rock leading. Round Rock with five hits and uh, only one hit for the Mavs. But hoping to change that here this inning. Big hack by. Collins foul tip caught by the catcher. Strike one. Next pitch misses a little low and out. Next pitch swung on, fouled into the parking lot. Not looking. Oh, and we had a direct hit on a blue car there. Ouch, that's going to leave a mark. <laughs> this is so depressing. <laughs> that's why I can't look. <laughs> Some of these cars. Is, that was a winner right there. Yeah. Windshield shattered. 1 2 pitch, misses high and inside. Count to go to 2 2. Did you just say winner? <laughs> we, got, we got a winner. Got a winner there. A direct hit. Sunk, sunk, sunk my battleship on that Vasek, one. Vasek, get you a lead. Come on, off first base. There we go. Come on, you got speed. Get a little more. 2-2 Two -two breaking ball. Oh. A little squib ball, but it's just Ow. down the first base side.
Here comes another 2-2 pitch to Collins. Swung on a miss, strike three. So two outs now. That brings up center fielder Chris Windesman. Windesman represents the only hit so far tonight for the Mavericks with a single right up the middle in his last at bat in the third inning. Fourth inning, sorry, fourth inning. No. He checks his swing on a breaking ball. Oh, field umpire says he went around. I, uh, not sure about that one, but good slider, good hard slider by Harden there. Same pitch. This time, Windesman swung all the way around, but two missed strike quick, two. Two quick strikes. Well, it's got some wicked movement on it, doesn't it? Yep. Runner goes. There he goes. And pitch is swung on a strike three. Strike three. All right. So Mavs leave another one stranded. No runs, one walk. And we head to the bottom of the sixth inning. Round Rock coming up to bat. Mavs still trailing by a score of 3 0. We'll be right back. All right, we have a new pitcher for the Mavericks here to start the sixth inning. The right-handed senior Ryan Shook comes in in relief for James Morio, who leaves the game after five complete innings. And Shook will face the 5-6-7 hitters for Round Rock. 
Leading off will be the shortstop, Landon Schroeder. Schroeder over two with two ground outs. And first pitch to Schroeder. Breaking ball is in there for called strike. Shook making his uh, first appearance here on the mound in district play. There you Next go. pitch, fastball swung on, lofted, fly ball out of play on the right field side. Two pitches, two quick strikes. And that one looks like it's going for a truck. I didn't oh, look. Oh, see, so he parked the truck out there thinking, oh, no ball's going to get me out here, and then one just found it, of course. You're not going to get me to look, Jason. <laughs> So 0-2 count to the leadoff hitter, Schroeder. And breaking oh. ball just got a piece of it. Fouled it back to the net. That a boy shook. Come and get him here. What's it going to be? Another 0-2 pitch. Just kind of sticks the bat out. Wow. Little soft line drive that's just over the glove of the second baseman into right field for a leadoff single. Texas leader. So leadoff single for Schroeder. Brings up the designated hitter Bamberg. Bamberg 0 for 2 with two strikeouts tonight. He squares around the bunt, then pulls back. Pitches a breaking ball, then misses a little bit low for ball one. Squares around the bunt again. As Third baseman Newman was crashing there, seeing the square around, and Shook kind of fakes the throw over to first. Runner goes. Throw down is going to be offline and not in time, so stolen base for Schroeder. Pitch missed inside and high for ball two. Squares around a bunt again, but the pitch misses outside and low. Ball three. Oop. And 3 0 pitch squared around a bunt, but pitch comes in and manages to hit him. So hit by pitch, followed, uh, uh, follows the sing leadoff single by Schroeder. And Run Rock's got runners on first Three. and second. And that'll bring up the catcher, Drew Freed. <coughs> single both times, his previous at bats. That's right, Freed two for two. Two singles and a run score. We're gonna have another courtesy runner for him as a catcher, let's see. Number eight, Walker, Walker Alselbrooks is now the courtesy runner at first base in place of the catcher, Freed. Or sorry, that's in place of the designated hitter, Bamberg. Freed is the hitter. Mm, yeah. It's dark out here, folks. I'm trying to, trying to see him read You're my good. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> I don't have my readers either, so I'm squinting over here. And Freed squares around a bunt, but the pitch is a breaking ball that misses for a ball. So the Dragons intent on working the small ball here. He squares around again, pitch is bunted, pop foul, and it's going to be out of play.
One one the count. Squares around a bunt. And uh, pitch comes inside, and it's another hit by pitch. So back to back it's hit by pitches. Back That's going to load the bases. Kyle Cox. And nobody out. Brings up first baseman Kyle Cox. Cox has reached twice tonight. Uh, intentionally walked in the second and then singled and scored a run back in the three run fifth. Okay, and now we're going to have another. So this is a courtesy runner this time. Freed, the catcher on first, comes in and he is replaced by the courtesy runner, Kate Allgaier, who has run for him three times tonight. So bases loaded, nobody out. Kyle Cox, your hitter. Mavs infield is going to be up on the grass again, trying to cut off a run at home. And we'll see if they continue to try to work the small ball here. With nobody out. Does not square around to bunt. Pitch is a breaking ball kept in front by the catcher, Banks. Yeah, got to, Mavs need to keep this at three runs if possible. Just really can't afford to give any more runs up. 1-0 fastball misses a little low and outside. And a 2-0 pitch comes in a little tight again, and that is the third consecutive hit by pitch, and that's going to force home a run. Here comes Silver Aguirre, the Mavs head coach, coming out to the mound for a visit. Leadoff Schrader hit, uh, comes around, score, makes the score 4-0. Everybody else moves up one base, and that's going to be the end of the night for Shook. And it looks like we've got the left-hander, number five, Tim Calderon, is going to come in in relief and try to get the Mavs out of the jam here. We'll let uh, Calderon get his warm-ups, and we'll be right back. Updates on a couple of scores from around the district here while Calderon gets his warm up. Stony Point comfortably in the lead over Hutto by a score of 10 to 2 in the bottom of the seventh. Uh, Westwood has just gone up by a score of 1 0 in the bottom of the fifth. And Vandegrift leading Cedar Ridge by a score of 5 to 2, five to two in the top of the seventh. All right, so Kyle Ron's ready to go. And we're going to have a pinch hitter, number 16, Ren Andrewartha, comes in. And will hit in place of the second baseman, David Bradley. And first pitch to Andrewartha, misses low for a ball. 
Calderon, left-handed senior. On to pitch here, inherits a bases loaded, no out situation. Next pitch, swung on, oh, line drive knocked down by the first baseman Collins, but unable to make the grab. So, quickly be an infield single there and scores another run. Everybody moves up a base, makes the score now 5-0. And we're back to the top of the Dragons order and to the leadoff hitter Devin Petrie. Petrie one for three tonight with a single, a fly out, and a strikeout. Checks a swing in that last pitch. Umpire calls it a ball. So base is still loaded, nobody out. Next pitch ball bounces stop. bounces off the ground there and uh, kept in front by the catcher Banks. Does not allow anyone to advance. Quick visit there to the mound by the Mavericks catcher, Garrett Banks. Looks like we're ready to go. So we have a final score here. Stony Point has defeated Hodo by a score of 10 to 4. And 2 0 pitch misses a little bit low. Ball three. Any update on the Westwood score? So Westwood just went up a few minutes ago over Vista Ridge by a score of 1-0 to in the bottom of the fifth. All right. And the 3-0 pitch is in there for called strike one. Nowhere to put him. Base is loaded. And next pitch misses high, ball four. So that walk will bring home another run, making the score 6-0. to And that brings up the number two hitter, Trey Garza. Garza 0 for 3, struck out, flew out, and then popped out on a very interesting and dramatic pop out to short in his last at bat. Well, Calderon gets the call on that one there. Strike called on the outside part of the plate. Next pitch, breaking ball, misses a little bit high and out. Fouls the next pitch back into the net. I had that one, Jason. The net wasn't here. Yeah? That was straight to me, yep. Them cat-like reflexes, you gonna jump out there and grab it? You know it. I see nice temperature out here finally tonight. Feels good, doesn't it, right now? Oh, next pitch swung on, line drive into right field. Morio comes in, a couple of nice steps, catch. makes the grab. It's gonna be deep enough First for everyone down. to tag. Yeah. Ooh, looks like we might have had a shot at the runner. Got a late jump from going to second to third, but we didn't throw over there. So it's an RBI sack fly for Garza. And that's the first out of the inning. Next at bat number 15, Tyler Betts. Cox scores from third, making the score 7-0. Petrie held up at first. Single strikeout and then grounded out the third in his last at bat.
Gotta love Texas weather though. We reached a high of 97 degrees today. <sighs> yeah. So uh, should we expect uh, blizzard conditions tomorrow? Quite possibly. <laughs> <laughs> Check here right now. Oh, it'll be. It won't be 97 tomorrow. It'll be 78 for high tomorrow. Okay. That's much more tolerable yeah, for this time of year. Exactly. Let's roll one. And the first pitch to Betts yeah. misses outside and low for a ball. <coughs> Next pitch, breaking ball swung on, lofted into the parking lot, foul. And, oh, that's going to find a car. Which is it going to get? Your car, oh, Jason. No, no. It Ooh. hit yours. No, it didn't. <laughs> but it was close to mine. <laughs> It I parked way to the back. It hit the car <laughs> two spaces away from mine. <laughs> it was close, huh? Really? <laughs> well, yeah, Seriously? Was, yeah. Oh, that's interesting. The red car <laughs> next two two spots <laughs> down from mine. I was trying to make a joke there, and you know, oh, it really did almost hit your car. That was a little too close for comfort yeah. there. <laughs> All right, one and one the count. Next pitch swung on, high fly ball into right field. Morio over Should a couple of steps to his left, makes the grab. Gonna definitely deep, deep enough. enough to score that run, yeah. Runner um, stays at first base, but run scored, which is the eighth run for Round Rock. But two outs. So. so Underwartha, the runner from third, scores, makes the score 8-0. Petrie held up at first, two outs. And Round Rock sends the ninth batter of the inning to the plate. Shortstop Sakura stands in. Sakura 0 for 3 with three flyouts. How about that? The UT commit. 0 for 3 at the plate. Okay, I'm going to stop talking because now he's going <laughs> to hit a towering <laughs> smash over 390 in left center. Now that I've said all this. First two pitches to Sakura. Six foot five, isn't he? His height? I think officially that's what it shows, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Comes a 2 0 pitch to Sakura. Misses a little bit low. 3 0. Calderon's like, I'm not pitching to him. <laughs> I don't blame you, buddy. I really don't blame you. Well, takes a hack at the 3-0 pitch, fouls it, grounds it foul down the third baseline. Green light. Six, seven, eight hitters due up for the Mavericks in the top of the seventh. Woo. Next pitch just got a foul tip piece there, caught in the glove by Banks. So we go to a full count. Full count, two outs, runner on first. How about that breaking ball by Calderon right there? It's a good one. Ooh. Three two pitch. Comes in tight. Ball this four. is ball four. And with that walk. Next at bat number twenty three. Round Rock has now batted around this inning. And Landon Schroeder stands in. Started off this inning with a single, was the first run scored. Schroeder looks at a first pitch. Breaking ball misses a little bit low and outside for a ball. Another pitch looked like the same pitch, same spot. Also a miss. 2 0 the count. Nearly identical pitch, yep. From the previous one. Comes 2-0 pitch, swung on, fly ball, center field. Windsman over a couple of steps to his left, underneath it, and makes the grab, and that ends the inning. So Round Rock tacks on five more, bats around in the sixth. 
We head to the top of the seventh. The last chance for the Mavs chasing eight runs down by a score of 8-0. We'll be right back. All right, top of the seventh. Last chance for the Mavs here to start getting some runners on base and bringing them around. Trailing by a score eight to zero. It's now or never, Jason. It is. And Mavs offense, they have got a lot of work to do, but hey, it's baseball. Anything can happen. Lead off hitter this inning, Garrett Banks stands <coughs> in. Another final score here. Vandegrift has defeated Cedar Ridge by a score of five to two. All right, all right, all right. 1-0 pitch to Banks. Fastball catches the outside, part of the plate for called strike. Have a visit down to the mound. From the round rock catcher. Let's see, only remaining game in district play besides this one tonight, still going, is Westwood and Vista Ridge. And what do we got there? Vista Ridge gone ahead now, leading by a score of three to one at the top of the sixth. Oh, okay. How about that? Next pitch, good breaking ball, so we're going to miss. Or got a foul tip there, strike two. One ball, two strike count to Banks. Next pitch, fastball, misses low and out. Garrett. And next pitch, we're going to miss strike three. Next bat, number 29, Caleb so one away brings up the designated hitter, Caleb Crail. Crail, a couple of hard hit balls tonight, just can't find a can't find some green grass. Takes a hack at the first pitch and fouls it back to the screen. There's that nasty slider again. Swung on and missed for strike two. Two fastball misses low. Mm, not Ooh, just misses that. It didn't miss by much at all with this umpire. I, but I was like, that looked like it was just a little bit outside, too far outside. So was two, that ball two? Yeah, two, and two of the count. Next pitch swung on a hard ground ball, but foul down the third base line. There's Crail hitting the ball hard again. Just foul. <coughs> but 
But you hit the ball hard like that, good things eventually are going to happen for you. There's that slider again. Just got the ah, bat out on the ground to second base. Yep. Field it cleanly, though, and throws over to first in time to retire Crail. So the Mavs down to the last out, and it will rest on the shoulders of Brandon Morio to try to extend this inning and keep the game alive. Huey Lewis, is this it? Sorry. Morio with a <laughs> strikeout. That and was lame. <laughs> flew out to right field in his last at I'll bat. I'll go home. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> oh, chin music. First pitch comes. I'm really glad it didn't hit him. I was in oh high goodness. and tight there, misses for a ball. That was a high and tight heater. Takes a swing at that hard slider again, just caps it. Foul. One, one pitch, there's catches that outside corner, called strike two. Don't foul it off into your dad's car, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on battle. There's that one-two slider, swung out of the miss, strike three, and that's going to end the game. that's it? All right. So the Mavs held the Round Rock scoreless through four complete, and then uh, innings five and six just kind of got away from them there. Only one hit for the Mavs tonight. Left a couple of base runners on through walks and various other things, but just not quite enough. So... Mavs dropped the first one in the two-game series here against Round Rock by a score of 8 to nothing. Thanks, everyone, for joining us tonight. Next game, game two, Mavs will host the Dragons at McNeil Field Friday, April 8th, this Friday at 7 o'clock, same time as tonight. Thanks again for joining us, folks. Have a good evening. Bye, guys.